what you are about to listen to is me, Pastor Michael Bowman, as I think out loud about and try to apply the scripture to anything and everything that comes to mind. This usually happens in my car. So jump in and let's talk. I listen often to the podcast, uh, the, the Pug Cast, uh, or it's, no, it's a theology pug cast. This is uh, C.R. Wiley, who's a, a thinker that I've been uh, very blessed by. He's a book, a Man of the House and the Household in the War for the Cosmos. Man of the House uh, has probably influenced how I think about my own life and how to build a household and how to be a man more than uh, any other book that I can think of outside of the scripture. Um, and he sits down with a couple other guys and, and they speak on just various theological matters. And they had a woman on not that long ago who was speaking about uh, J.R.R. Tolkien and was speaking about his writing as what uh, they were calling a fertile idea, that his thinking was fertile. And what that meant was that it has spawned um, and, and borne fruit in so many other areas. And, and so many people have taken the ideas that are found in the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and you know, this universe that he created. And it has, it has grown and become much more. You think about all the other books that have been written about it. You think about all the, all the other uh, things that happen. You think about how the University of Wisconsin-Madison you know, teaches a class on Elvish. Right? So there, there are universities that teach a language that Tolkien invented for this world that he wrote about. And I just really liked this idea of fertile ideas. These fertile ideas that, you know, a, a fertile idea uh, being something that can uh, build and grow and, and produce much more. Uh, that it, it, like a seed, can be planted and then it just keeps growing. And I can think of, you know, the books and, uh, you know, material that has been the most beneficial to me in my life. And all of it is like this. It's something that I read and then it just grows in my own life. And I, I you know, have all kinds of different ways that I can uh, think about it and add to it and uh, live according to it. And obviously, even if, as I say that, my guess is that most of you listening will think of something that, you know, you found the same way. And I think probably we all think of scripture this way. You think of the, the fertile ideas of scripture, because this is God speaking through his word and how it just grows. It just keeps growing and, and building. And here we are 2000 years after the resurrection of Christ and uh, we are still studying his word and there's still uh, movement and growth that is coming from it and that's not because we're changing how we see it it's not because the word of God changes it's because it is it is so uh, life-giving and fertile it, it is so uh, it, it's so productive that it continues to grow and and move in this way. Often, the irony of our modern age is that uh, those ideas which are seen as progressive, they're moving somewhere, they're doing something. These are actually ideas that are not very fertile. They don't, they don't actually uh, carry someone more than a generation or two. They can't go very far before they spin out of control. Really, the, the ideas that are the most actually progressive uh, in the sense that they are, they are moving, they are growing, they are, uh, they are causing change long term over time. Uh, these ideas are uh, ultimately uh, the ideas of God himself, his own thoughts. We're thinking his thoughts uh, after him. 
as we study these things and, and grow in our understanding of his world and who he is and who Christ is and what the church is. And, and as we continue to return to scripture and stand upon scripture, instead of seeking to move on our own, as we continue to go back to the scripture and stand firmly upon it, what it does is over time, it, it allows us to develop. You think about the development of the creeds and confessions of the church over time. These are not documents that are uh, contra scripture. These are, you know, you think of the Westminster Confession of Faith. This is a document that is seeking, and I believe very faithfully does, uh, explain truths of scripture. Uh, this is something that was not uh, available in the first couple centuries of the church. It wasn't available till much later. It doesn't mean that those truths are new or that they were never there. It's just that over time, as uh, men continue to study the scripture and teach the scripture and preach the scripture and, and draw the church back to uh, standing upon the scripture, it was through that process that development actually took place. I scared my wife once when I said, maybe we need to think of this as a kind of, you know, biblical progressivism. And, uh, you know, the whole idea of progressivism is so unbiblical, uh, the way that we think of it, that obviously, you know, I'm being a little bit tongue in cheek and I, I wouldn't want to outright start, you know, calling myself a, you know, a, a biblical progressive or anything like that. But there is a sense in which, you know, an ironic sense, I would say, in which the truths of scripture are continually uh, bearing fruit in the life of the church over time. And this is a, a tremendous blessing for us. And so here, I was just thinking of this, you know, this concept of a fertile idea. And, and here is the most uh, fertile of ideas. It, it is uh, the, the Lord speaking himself. Hey guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. If it has been, go ahead and rate it, review it, or share it with a friend, especially if you're in La Crosse, Wisconsin, or the surrounding areas. That helps me expand the audience and hopefully increase the impact of these ideas. If you have any questions, thoughts, or concerns on anything that I just talked about, you can reach me at pastormichaeljbowman at gmail.com. You can find more content from me, as well as information about the church that I pastor at ccc-pca.org. With that, I hope you can enjoy the many blessings of God today. Until next time.